was just playing. What was I thinking? What was you saying? Oh, that's crazy. So before y'all even run to the comments, it might already be too late. Y'all just read the title saying I'm an idiot for cutting my springs. There are a couple good explanations for why I'm doing this. Number one, uh, BMW rake sucks. I don't know why people stand behind that, but I'm not one of those. I'm trying to be like doing a wheelie. So that's part of why. The other reason is I wanted to get shorter springs. So my thought process behind it is I have six inch springs. Silver's offers five inch springs and four inch springs. Why don't I just cut it and get it to the height that I want? And then if, if it rides terribly, I can order five inch springs. Or if, it, if, if I don't like the ride height, I can buy another set of six inch springs. And then if they ride great, I just save myself some dough. So to me, it's a win-win. So I got my springs here, got my safety gloves, my angle grinder. So let's see what we're gonna get into. Let's hope I don't fuck these up. about this after cutting the springs so if I grab this out of here uh, this is a spring I cut so if you look at both these springs um, this is something I didn't think about until we cut them they kind of designed this to where like this last coil kind of flattens out so that it's relatively flat here as you can see this spring can stand straight on both sides and whenever I cut this you could tell that it's not flat so it stands tall on this side but on this side it kind of leans like this can't find any clear answers on whether this is safe or not but I think I'm gonna take a few days to think about it do some research see if this is how people cut it and um, I might just order some swift five inch springs but regardless we're dropping the car a little bit lower so I'll be back shortly all right, so after a couple days of um, searching the web, I found out that I knew that cutting these springs would make the, the spring rate super high. And I don't know why I didn't do this before I even bought my coilovers, but apparently E36s out like stock have a lot of grip in the rear. And people say that the higher spring rate you have in the rear of your car, the more The more or the less, I think it's less, less grip you'd have. People will run a softer spring rate to be able to have more grip, to be able to go faster. But since the E36 already has so much grip, running a um, higher spring rate in the front than in the rear would give you even more grip than like stock. If, you, if that confuses you, just DM me and I can explain it better after I go back and read the form. But it's basically something like that. So basically, whenever I bought my silvers, 
I got 12K fronts and then 10K rears, which I really should have gotten 10 front and 12 rear. So I reached out to Silvers. I asked them if they could hook me up with a with an upgrade, basically. Uh, you guys know that with any coilover, you can get Swift Spring upgrade. So shout out to Silvers. They uh, hooked me up and sent me with some five, sent me some five inch Swift Springs. And those are 14K. I know that's like a little stiff, whatever, but to not have to replace the front and the rear, I just went up in the rear 2k stiffer than in the front but for the purpose of the video because i know sometimes people that watch this are probably on a budget like i am too and i just kind of want to know um i cut the other ones you can see here i have both of them they're both cut to five inches and i'm gonna throw them on the car but just for the purpose of the video and the fact that i told you guys i didn't know if it's like sketchy to run it because it's like you know not flat up here i asked people um, a couple friends that have E36s, they said it's not sketchy, but they said they don't recommend it because the spring rate is super high. Now, if you don't care about that and you're going to order like 28s, I don't see why it would even matter if you cut your springs besides like people knowing and calling you broke. But I could be wrong, so if anyone that's watching wants to inform anyone else that's watching, uh, you can comment down below. But I'm going to throw these in and then go drive and see how they feel. But in the end, I'm gonna put my, my Swifts on, so yeah. Okay, so they're in, but this right here doesn't look great. It doesn't look great. Like you can see that little plastic piece is very crooked. Just as, I mean, I don't know. You guys tell me, is that sketchy? you guys the first look at whether or not this tire is going to tuck. Fingers crossed it does. I mean that's better. Good. What you think? I think it is awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty What's cool. awesome? Sick. What's the thing that spinny and make the car bounce? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it looks good. I mean, that's that's what we were getting at, and these are the cut ones. Potentially, I'm hoping that. Fucking making all the noise in the world. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm hoping that the silvers aren't any more or the swift springs aren't any taller than this because this is like max height that I'd want That's like perfect. perfect I don't even actually I think that that's too low can't even put my finger in there Let's do a drive. We're gonna see how this is. We're not going too far. Where are we going? Uh, the nearest gas station. Okay my friend's got a uh, ice bath thing. So we're about to go take a little ice bath. Huh. Looks pimp. I'm excited, super happy. I hope it like drifts good at this height too. And um, I can get a good alignment. You know, still try to stay uh, zero camber. Hola, you got letting you. Yeah, proud owners of the new Mata bathtub. Get that Titanic water. What's the? We just put dams on 50 already. Who's going first? Dude, do a, a tattoo tour for my subscribers. Put it right here, on go. A like, leave a like. Leave a like. <laughs> I think it really hurts when it hits your nuts. Come on, let's start now. 
Oh yeah, we fiddled it perfectly. Oh, he doing that shit just like Joe Rogan, he breathing, not talking. Yeah, I know nice. that shit. Not pleasant. I told you he's not pleasant. Ah, fuck. Just relax. I can't drop my arms. Hey, you stayed a minute and fifty. Not where you can't say that in the YouTube video. 10 minutes and 50 seconds. <laughs> Hello, Ongo people. This on, is on this CEO. is CEO right here. <laughs> <On -go CEO laughs> Let's go for it. Oh my just god. Just go. Bro. Just go. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Do like box breathing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I should have pissed first! <laughs> I should have pissed! <laughs> Dude, box breathing. Alright, how do I stop recording? Box breathing. Here we go, Mr. CrossFit. Mr. CrossFit. Dude, I just when it hits your back, it's terrible. Ah, uh, not funny, not funny. <laughs> He's got it. Look at my knees, they're just shaking by themselves. All right, so in conclusion, we know that the cut springs work fine, but I still would not recommend it. Kind of sucks. I wonder if it still needs to settle a little bit, but it's not that much lower. Yeah, I'm kind of uh, not happy about this. Should I have kept the the cut springs or what? I don't really know how to feel about this. Maybe it needs to settle. So checking back in after driving the car for like a weekend, I maybe put like a hundred miles on it. Online it says that the Swift Springs have a Break-in period, I don't know if that's true or not. I could see it being true because it settled a little bit more than right when I put it on the car. But this is kind of what we're sitting at now, which isn't bad, but I still kind of wish it tucked the whole tire. And it kind of sucks that it did with the cut springs. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, you guys let me know, should I have kept the cut springs or Swiss springs. I guess you guys can also use that information to decide what you want to do. Now I'm not responsible if anything goes wrong and you cut your springs completely wrong. So, and then let me show you guys one more thing. Got in some uh, fresh tires today. So you know what the next video is going to be all about. Don't miss out on that video. I'm drifting, not this weekend, but the following weekend. So I'll probably have the video out in like two weeks. So hit that big red button. And if you enjoy this one, don't forget to like and uh, comment. Let me know, should I have kept the cut springs on the car and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Peace.